Well, so much for continuing in the next shrine. Ooh. Uh, what just fell? Probably the least interesting puzzle for that. Okay. I do like the wind chest. I like the different chest variations. They're neat. Uh... Just... Oh gosh! Nope, nope. I forgot it was a uh, low gravity. Uh oh. Into the bubble. I am waiting for the bubble to take him. The bubble. And that's to teach me that I'm going to have to bump this one up somehow. Forgot to actually talk. <laughs> yeah, blue fire was. Mm, I don't know. I like the idea, but I dropped it initially because I couldn't finish like the book quest. Weirdly enough, like I beat the first dungeon on the way to the second, and it just bugged the mess on me. I couldn't, and then I did one of the platforming challenges, and like they're fun. Like, I get the idea behind it. It's trying to do the same thing Breath of the Wild does, where it, like, changes up the, um, like, what you're doing from minute to minute. But, I don't know what the deal is. Sometimes when I'm playing a game, I'm just like, I... I'm just ready for it to be over. I kind of ruined my experience with some games on that. I think I do that with almost every Xenoblade, where it's like, okay, I'm ready for the game to be over. This is getting tedious. Like, I've done it with all three. Xenoblade 1, 2, and 3. I can't get X to work. Still, I mean, I haven't tried again. Maybe I could get X working again. I, I don't know. I tried streaming it, and then uh, it strapped didn't work. And from what I understand, it has some online features that I might want to do, but I won't even be home for the, most of the three months, so... Whoa, yay. Yeah, I don't know what the deal was with that, uh, with Blue Fire that just maybe not like it. Because it's trying to be like, if you don't know what it is, it tries to be a 3D platformer, Zelda like, Souls like. And I just. I don't know. Something about it, like, I couldn't get into it at all. I couldn't get a good suspension of disbelief, maybe? Like, is it's too much of a hodgepodge of different things. Like... no, nah, I'm not sure if I want... Like, it'd be something that someone probably would absolutely adore. But, like, something with the controls also bugged me. I don't remember what it was. But, I don't know, maybe just not my taste. Like, I like things that are combos. Like, I love Air of the Gungeon. Dungeon Crawler. 
uh, Bullet Hell Hybrid. Love uh, Zelda franchise. It's basically a combo of everything. They like being just completely random with Zelda, and that's what I love about it. That's why I'm a little bit disappointed in Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom, because they're almost... Weirdly enough, they're too formulaic. Like, not Skyward Sword levels. But, I, I don't know. If I had anything to complain about with Zelda franchise, it feels like the worst thing to happen in this franchise is that people treat Skyward Sword as the comparison point for linearity in this franchise. And I'm just like, that is the worst possible imaginable game that could be used for that. And that's, that's just depressing that that's the comparison point people have for old school Zelda. So yeah, no, I'm still on the... Yeah, I'm still on the Skyward Sword isn't that good boat at all. Like, the defense campaign came out about that game almost immediately after it came out. But, oh, I like this. I like it. Like, outside of maybe some of the characters, I would say that, uh... Well... Almost has to make a move. <laughs> Come on. I don't have two hand weapon. There we go. That's the only one I see. Oh, they don't all have lights. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still in the boat that the worst of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are still very, very discovered, so the best. At least on the gameplay side. I really the... I don't know how I feel about Skyward Sword's dungeons. There's this weird campaign that came out. Not campaign, but like... There's a... Ah, shoot. There's a particular YouTuber who made a video on Skyward Sword. I feel like people go to been like, oh, it has amazing dungeons, best in the series. And I'm just like, no, no, they're they're bad. They're they they're still bad. I don't know where that mindset comes from, but it's like, no, they're they're still pretty bad. <laughs> He got rubies around him. Are you kidding?
But the rubies, not the rubies! I oh, don't know. Scoured Swords. Just, eh. Controversial. Not really controversial, but, like, you know what it is. It's. Just, I don't think it's Zelda's best. Not even close to it. Like, there's a reason Breath of the Wild dumped everything that Bre Scoured Sword did. And to me, it's disappointing because it feels like a lot of it was Scoured Sword half crap and stuff. And that's why it got dumped. Like, core Zelda items are all gone because Skyward Sword made them all worse. It's the worst iteration of the claw shot. It's the worst iteration of, uh... Where are the other items? I'd say the bow was incredibly wonky to control compared to any of the other games. The... What was it? The... The beetle is like the game's one unique item that's not in another Zelda. And I don't think it's very fun. Like, whoopee, you get to fly the thing. Like, here's my main argument of Scoured Sword. That bugs the mess out of me about that game. Oh, look, fun. Um. Uh, okay. I don't remember what the air one looked like, so. Scared Sword. Like, almost all the motion control related stuff in that game. I mean. What? Oh! You know, I heard something about this happening. Um... Where is this? This one called the unlit blessing. Oh, I wasn't. Nope. I heard about this happening with one shrine, but I forgot about that. Which I'm glad I did. I can't. I want. It's very hard to avoid spoilers in these games. I think I've seen half of the Mario RPG remake, and I didn't want to. Ugh. This is the last shrine I have on my map. I'm missing quite a few if I'm missing more than this. <laughs> On the other hand, I'm kind of hoping there are more, because I, I'd like more warp points. I'd like if there were some, like, on the actual, like, Surface, surface. That would be nice. Either way, back. What's the games I've been this year? Blue Fire, Beat Unpacking. That was, that was neat. That was fun. Uh, we love Kamari Damashi reroll. That was fun. What am I looking at? What's the name of this shrine again? Courage to jump. Oh, fun. Oh, oh, fun. <laughs> oh, fun indeed. Full speed. Oop. 
boy. Oh no. Mm. I kinda wanna keep taking this route. Oh no, 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 no. I want to do the whole thing again. This is fun. I like this one. Kit. Please let go. Let's see, what else was there? I'm packing. We love kind of our ghost trick. Ghost trick was fun. I like that one. The ghost tricks... Probably... Well, actually, it's one of my... Oh, well, shoot. <laughs> Captain always goes down with his ship. Let's take the other one. Okay, please let me land. Please. Let's see. So, ghost trick. Castlevania Circle of the Moon. And also Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. I didn't play them directly one after another. I did uh, Nuclear Blaze in between. 100% Nuclear Blaze, by the way. That was fun. I did not 100% the Castlevania, so... I don't... Oh. Uh. Well. This is gonna be one of those. I did amazing my first run, and I'm going to do horrible on all the others, isn't it? Um... Let's see. Yeah, Circle of Moon, Harmony of Dissonance. I'm seeing why Ari is the one that gets a lot of attention. Uh, yeah, I didn't like those other two that much. They were, uh... I mean, what was it? Harmony of Dissonance actually has a dash, which is fun. Like, you got the usual back dash, but... Unlike the others, you also have a um, forward dash, which is really nice and makes it feel a lot better than Circle does. Because Circle, for some reason, I don't know how to explain that one. It just feels like you have old school style Castlevania like clunky jump controls, but also the new style, um, like. How do I explain it? The new style... Ah, dang, damn it. You know what? Yeah, sure. But, like, the newer movement text and stuff, and it's just... It looks awkward, and... There was something else about it I didn't like. Like, having... Those... I don't remember which one's which. Actually. There's a few different ones that have, um... What was it? I'm trying to remember which one was which. There was one that you had spells and the other that you had... I think... No, I think he had to farm enemies off both of them. I don't remember. Either way, I found that mechanic annoying. Like, Arya it's fun because, oh look, I'm getting different, unique, um... abilities for monsters, whereas... Ooh, boy. Meanwhile, these other two were like, okay... You have no idea what you're getting, and the game's not going to tell you what you got, and you have to randomly guess. Eh. I think that was Circle. Circle was the one I really didn't like. I beat Live a Live, the uh, remake. Yeah, Live a Live's good. If you have not played it, play it. It's good. Not the most amazing plot ever, but it is absolutely one of the... Actually, hold up. 
That wasn't... Hold up. Let me double check something real quick. I want to make sure that wasn't the last shrine and I skip, like, the dialogue. Because <laughs> that would be bad. Oh, no, I have to do the whole thing again. Whoops, my bad. Oh, no. Anyway, I actually like this shrine a lot. This is fun. Let's, uh, jump. Let's see what else was there. Live a live. Yeah, that game's fun. Hazelnut Hex, which is a bullet hell. Wasn't too much on the eShop, so I picked it up. It was fun. Um, I'm balling because I'm not looking. Oh, and here comes the real fun ones. I don't remember which, like order of things I ended up doing, but I beat all of the Mega Man X games of, like, the initial Legacy collection, so Mega Man X1, X2, X3, X4, and that's all that's in the initial Legacy collection. I haven't played the other ones, didn't really care for it too much, like, I already knew that they were a bit, uh, what's it called? I know some people apparently don't like them that much, so I didn't really bother. Let's see. Yeah, so I, I like the Mega Man X games now. Like, I didn't initially like X because I felt like the enemies respawned way too quickly when leaving off screen. I initially played the original. But yeah, still good, still fun. I beat Fight Crab. That was a fun one. I got a physical copy of that one, so it took me a while to actually get around to it. Uh, TMNT Turtles in Time Arcade. Yeah, that one... Yeah, I was not very good at that one. I think I spammed credits. <laughs> and this was in the, uh, that Team and T, whatchamacallit, collection. I beat, I 100% completed the Messenger. I need to put that as 100%. Yeah, I, I like the Messenger. Apparently, Sea of Stars is like the prequel to this game. So, yeah, I should probably get around to playing that. And I also beat Dokapon Kingdom Connect. I've already beaten Dokapon Kingdom before. But now I've done Dokapon Kingdom Connect, which is the remake that isn't over $100. Let's see here. So, yeah, that wasn't the end of the shrines. Let's see. I think I'll keep running through my lists while I try to figure out what my new plan is. I think my plan is to now... I need... Oops. How many was that? That... Hold up. I can check. Sorry. Let's see. I have six hearts. That would be... Ha. Huh. I know it ends with you having, like, two less hearts again, I think. Or does it? I don't know. All I know is I want to do that one last because I want to get the last light route after. Either way, so I also beat Super Mario Wonder, 100%. WarioWare Move It, that one was fun. I like WarioWare Move It. Uh, the motion controls were actually not bad to me. Initially. The final boss was complete luck. 
it felt like. I don't know what the deal was with that. I did not like the final boss. Um, what do I have for heat? I had a heat shield. Uh, do I have a flame weapon? No. No. Oh, I got. I don't think like like stuff is used for anything, so. Actually, hold up. So, is there a shrine in here? I don't know if there is or not. Either way, I gotta figure out how to get through here. I don't remember what the path was. Just can't even look in here. Oh, is it different from how it was originally? Ew, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Oh. Did I just do it? Okay, so he's saying follow the lights. The problem is which one? I don't know which direction I'm going, so... He left the pine cones for a trail, which is why I'm probably going the wrong way. I'm pretty sure I'm going the wrong way. Or not. So there is another shrine. Okay. There's a... Go and go ahead and press this. Let's see what else was there. Mario Wonder, move it. I beat Panzer the Panzer Dragoon remake. I managed to do it without any continues, I think. I think I did with no continues, as far as I noticed. Wait, North Lome Prophecy. I beat the Gunman Clive HD Collection 1 and 2. Uh, do I count, uh, was it Suica game? That, I got a watermelon. I counted that as beating it. Apparently my family is beating my high score and they refuse to play games, so it's kind of interesting. You know, I kind of want to throw in here the Mario Kart DLC. Oh, well, fun.
I wonder if I'm missing hearts from side quests. There are a few side quests in this game that give you hearts, which is honestly surprising to me. Um, let's see. I beat Diablo 2 Remastered. That wasn't too bad. I actually liked... It was fun. Like, there are a lot of old classic games that I really want to go back and play. That I just haven't ever had the chance to. And let's see. The last game I'd be in this year, unless I some by some miracle in a week beat one more game, it's probably not going to happen. I've beaten Ebenezer and the Invisible World, which is a Metroidvania based on Christmas Carol, which is very, very funny. I love it. Like, it is, it is hilarious. Um, the actual gameplay, though, was like, eh, it's, it's good. Kind of... Do I want to say B tier? I'm not sure how I would explain it. It's, it's not... It's not like the most amazing one, but it's also, you know, just middle of the road. Does things well enough, but feels a little bit clunky at times. I had it crash on me once. Um, I don't think it... Oh, wait, I wasn't paying attention. I need four? Oh, oh, fun. How big's this ma- Oh, no. I, I, uh, hmm. I don't like this. Oh, gosh. Or Flome Prophecy. Oh my gosh. On oh, unique music for this area. Oh, I see something. That's not a... Is there... I would love to not have to lose my dang gliding suit. That would be nice, but... Uh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Yep. Interesting. There's sun up there. Or not. I am kind of worried that I should be keeping my eyes up. Knowing how this game is. Not, I assume they're not on the map. Hmm. Where are they? There might be one hidden in the rest are. Second, I thought the giant air ball was something else. Okay, so maybe they are on the map. But it's at four terminals, so. Probably the middle one. There we go. Let's see what else was there. There were a few games I replayed. Vampire Survivors. 
again. Twice. I played through Vampire Survivors twice. On mobile and on Switch. Also Oracle of Ages. Again. Love that game. Okay, not that way. I'm currently basically just watching the movement on uh on the map. If it weren't for the stupid call, that'd be so yeah. But I did blatantly say that I need to find the main three and then the last one. Let's see here. Oh. Let's check the map. How I get in the middle? Hmm. How I get out of here? Whoop, there we go. Ouch. Because I no longer have my fully equipped no fall damage armor. Game. Oh, no. <laughs> I have to get to the top. Okay, it gave me wind. Perfect. I guess I could have eaten food, probably. Let's see, I beat Oracle of Ages again, I beat Super Mario World Super Mario Advance 3 again, and then I beat Portal again. Yep, time for the skydive. I heard about this part. Yeah, prove my courage. Let me put on, uh, oh right, I already have it on. Uh, the ability to fall without dying. Quite honestly, I love this armor because you can do this. This armor is amazing for this. I love it. Splat. I love this armor. Also, I found out that apparently in this game, the only bosses that are tracked by that uh, monster defense force guy are like the new ones. Which I guess that makes sense, but that is also kind of disappointing. these things boring to fight <laughs> at this point. Okay, that was a... Oh boy. <laughs> that was a large one. So now I guess I need to figure out where that one missing shrine is. Uh -oh. Because I guess if this is going to get me 
Well, three shrines. I need to find the missing fourth. So I can end off all at once. Wait, roller of owls. <laughs> Where'd that come from again? I am... I've said this a few times in these recordings. I am really glad they confirmed, like, super early on that, yes, the Zonai events take place after all of the other games. Because it makes less than no coherent sense for them to take place. Like... Oh, wait, can I... Oh, that's the light route. As it le makes less than no coherent sense for otherwise. Oh, boy. Uh... Yeah. Each had an extra shrine. 